Hey everyone, all the parts are starting to come in now for my K40 laser cutter, so it's time to start talking about improved airflow and fume extraction. The first thing I want to discuss is this atrocity. This is the fan that came with the unit, extraction fan. It's not necessarily a, a terrible fan, I believe it only does about 88 CFM, so it's not a super powerful fan. The problem with it is it doesn't actually fit the unit. That's the back of the K40. And if we place it on, it sits too high. It's in the way of the lead for the laser. And it just doesn't mount very well. It's really loose. So what people have been doing is, is putting it on here and then gaffer taping it to the actual cutter. And then the problem is they can't open the laser door. They have to rip it apart afterwards. And it's not super powerful and just the the opening for it as you can see here is just it's it's really large and so it doesn't actually fit this outtake very well at the back so i decided i'm not going to use this i'm just going to uh put that out of the way and instead i'm going to use this this is an inline fan I'll take the cardboard out so as you can see inside here hopefully there's a fan inside and it sits in between two lots of tubing. I've got some reinforced aluminium tubing. It's aluminium inside and plastic on the outside, extendable. This is uh, not cheap, but I wanted to get something that was a little bit more durable than just using pure aluminium or the plastic hose that comes with it. The plastic hose that comes with it is this, which is just, it's terrible. Like, I don't even know if it's a good enough quality to not disintegrate when fumes are going through it but it's pretty useless so again that goes in the bin and I'm going to be using this instead so this is an inline fan it's actually got two different speeds it does approximately 100 CFM up to 200 so it's be quite powerful it's also obviously gets noisier when it's on the higher speed and to attach this to the unit I actually designed and printed this piece here I actually had to build it in two halves because my 3D printer is not big enough to print this in one piece. And then this attaches into the slot. It's a bit of a tight fit on purpose. And that sits just in there. It's already quite tight as it is. But to make it even better, I bought myself some of this aluminium insulation tape. So it's like a, a a gaffer style tape but rather than being fabric it's actually aluminium it's designed for insulation and ducting and so I'm going to use this silver tape to seal this in place and then just using some clamps 100 mil clamps I'll be able to attach the hose to the fan this is probably be long this is a five meter piece I might either cut it or get a shorter piece to the fan and then from the fan another one of these extraction tubes which is in here which is going to go all the way out the I'm going to cut a hole in the wall behind me and it's going to go outside so that's what I'm going to use for fume extraction one of the things you really need to be careful of with any laser cutter is that sometimes it's just extracting smoke which is fine or it's uh, extracting some debris from the cut but depending on what you're cutting, it could actually be extracting toxic fumes. If you consider that a lot of plywood or other substances that you might cut is glued together and you don't know what type of glue it's used. So you get a laser that's heating up and cutting glue that could be giving off any type of toxic fumes that you're not sure about. And that's going to be coming through this exhaust system and out. So it's very important to have a very sealed and reliable extraction system for the cutter to make sure there's no existing residue inside the unit especially when you open it up. I need to obviously still put all this together, but I just wanted to run through all of the, the items that I will be using instead of the stock standard extraction fan and tube. Until next time, catch you later.